Right, ladies, I've already filmed doing this. Um, you know, I said I was going to do this peg. I filmed it once, and has it worked? No. And it's the only piece of wood I had left um, that I've just cut. I've just shown how to do this. <laughs> so I'm just going to talk you through it, right? Um, you get yourself your paper and whatever shape you're doing, right? Obviously, you need a board around so you can tuck it all in. Cover this with the uh, Mod Podge. Stick your uh, piece. Oh, excuse me. Stick your wood on. And then what you need to do then, I'll just show you, is you will cut whatever you've got a point. Cut it straight opposite the point. And then fold in the flat sides first before you do the shaped areas. I mean, I've just shown how to do this and. I thought it was great and then all of a sudden when I went to replay it back a load of rubbish so like I say cut along here then you'll fold the bottom in then the sides then the top and then you'll fold these corner bits and if you're doing this shape if you're doing a square you need to what you need to do is you need to trim like that cut the, cut the corner out if you're doing a square and then fold them over and they'll be fine then you need another piece on top to cover all the back that you've just done. So modge podge it once you've got your first layer on, then when you put your backing on, modge podge it first, then put your back on, then modge podge the whole thing, and then let it dry. When you've done that, oops, sorry, mine's still a bit tacky, but it's not too bad. Um, then you can go back and modge podge the rest of it. So I'm just going to quickly do that. Um, I've done all the sides and everything ready, so I'm just doing the back at uh, the front. So I'm going to show you now how to do that peg, the one with this shape, right? So I'll just leave that to dry a minute. So that's how you do that. I'm really sorry ladies, but I haven't got another shape to show you and I wanted to show you it in detail. Get rid of my rubbish. So I'm a bit miffed about that. Right. Make sure you've got prepared, you've got all your flowers and everything cut ready. Now with the peg, this is what I've done for the peg. I've got the piece of paper big enough for the peg. Coat it with Mod, Mod Podge. Make sure you've got it the right way, way around. So coat it with Mod Podge. That's what I've done. And then I've put the peg in the middle. Push it down, flatten it. Mod Podge the edges, you know, the sides of the peg, and then push them up. And then what you're going to do is, um, I'm going to have to wet mine again because it's dried since I've replayed that back. Just wet, wet the paper again altogether. Just softens the paper as well, but be, you have to be careful when you're flattening it all down with your hand. Like I say, just go back over it. Don't forget the ends. And I'll tell you what I've done. What I've done is I've cut again, see the V, I've cut a V so that they fold properly put that on there right once you've pushed and push with your thumbs up the sides once you've done that and you've got it like that then what you need to do is uh, sorry is trim oops got the paper stuck where you've got these two points see this one and this one you need to trim and just cut to the corners just like that I'll do this one because you don't really need that piece of paper. Right, what you're going to do is push in with your thumb. Push it in, hold it, pull it off. That's all you need to do. Okay? Push it in with your thumb. Because it's wet with the glue, it'll rip easily. Take it off like that. That's all you need to do. Turn it around, do the other side. It will leave a bit there, but that, that you need that, so it doesn't matter. Push in with your thumb in that groove and take that bit off. Then what you're going to do is um, you're going to fold over the middle bit. Fold that one over as well, push it into it. And then with this top bit, you're going to fold over like that. Again, fold that one over as well. It doesn't matter about this bit yet fold that over you can pull it back and trim that because nobody actually sees that bit they see this but not that so and the idea is, is if you shape it like that 
you get a much much neater fold so push it in and fold it over the reason why I've left the flap is so that you can do that and that hides everything then don't worry about it just put more Mod Podge on it if you need to now the top because we've got this all you need to do again cut down into the where the edge is where the corner is all right just going to put a little bit more glue in the top there make sure the paper's quite wet what are we on to i'm all right for time took them little tabs in just took them in now you don't want to touch this you don't want this overlapped here you want to pull that over so the idea then is to cut that bit off so you've got that right fold that over just make sure that sticks in again if you have any overlapping undo it and snip it off at an angle which we should do anyway right and then fold that in and then that flap will fold straight over and keep it nice and neat and it's the easiest way to cover a peg see easiest way so I'm just going to show you that again on this one see if we can get it done before the time's up right good coat of Mod Podge yeah just like that right get your peg put it in the middle and press firmly right and what you're going to do glue the sides of the pack of the peg pardon peg <laughs> right, just turn it round run the glue up and down there on the edges there and then across the top because it has to soak in and it'll get that tackiness what you're going to do then is remember oh, a bit of paper on that cut them at an angle just like that um, cut in towards all of these edges okay cut this at an angle Oops, and we'll do that at an angle there, straight across to the corner. Yep, take that off, doesn't matter. Oops. It's so easy to cover these, it's unbelievable. Right, so what we're going to do now, what we're on to 8.15, right, I'm going to quickly show you that again. Push the middle in and fasten it over like that and then do this one push it up with your thumb again peel that back if you have to I mean obviously you're going to soak it with glue anyway well, somebody else leaving me a message chop that off it's a bit long All right. and like I say you're not going to just see that little tiny bit there now push that in with your thumb push it into that uh, well and pull it off hold it tight because it's already soaked it'll come off easy I've got this glue all over <laughs> that's it just tuck that in like that Right, it's 9.17, I'm going to have to come back again, but I've got to finish it anyway, ladies, so give it a really good coat of glue, remember to glue the bottom bit again, and fold that over, just like that. You're going to coat the whole thing in glue anyway, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter if you, if it's dry a bit, you're going to coat the whole thing. Again, the top, fold that over, fold that one over as well, cut down into the corner, chop that off because that's what you're going to tuck in and then just shape them into like a point 